Hello, YouTube world, and welcome to another episode of Focus Knob. I went on eBay and bought a used SkyMaster Pro 20x80 binoculars. Out of curiosity, I wanted to compare this to the SkyMaster Pro ED version. I just wanted to see what the differences are. And I got lucky, I only paid $100 for this one. After a quick unboxing, it looks like the binoculars is in pristine condition. Looks brand new to me, aside from the beat up box. Looks like somebody had a second thought and returned this one for one reason or another. The Skymaster Pro came with these accessories. We've got a microfiber cloth for the lens, two eye cups with the side shield. So you would just remove this one, the straight ones, and if you prefer to use this type of eye cups, this one will block any stray light coming to the side. Works much better. And then you got the, the binocular strap and a rail mount for a red dot finder or a laser pointer, similar to this one. So you would just slide this like that and then mount this on the binoculars rail and we can't forget about the bag which is a vast improvement over the bag that came with the 25 by 100 sky master this one is really nice and makes it really easy to put the binoculars in and out i remember the with the 25 by 100 the bag is was so poorly designed it, it was very annoying to put the binoculars in or out but this one is nice got a nice flap and then it just closes with a buckle nice and simple my first impression of the SkyMaster Pro is that it looks nice definitely looks much better than the regular SkyMasters the rubberized outer armoring looks really nice it's got a modern look to it and that unmistakable purple lens coating looks new too both objective lenses and the eyepiece lenses appear to have the same coating. I really like the orange accents around the eyepieces. That's a nice touch. So let's run down the specs. This is a 20 by 80 version with a focal ratio of f4.1. The lenses are fully multi-coated. Celestron calls it the XLT coatings. It's Bach 4 prism. True field of view of 3.2 degrees exit pupil of 4 millimeters and eye relief of only 15.5 millimeters which may be a problem to some people who wear eyeglasses but fortunately you can remove the eye cups and for me surprisingly i didn't have problems with the eye relief interpupillary distance of 56 millimeters to 72 millimeters with a diopter adjustment of plus minus four Typical for these types of high magnification binoculars is that the close focus range is only at 66 feet. At 13 inches in length and weighing around 5 pounds, you won't be hand holding these binoculars for long. It is waterproof and nitrogen purged. I will be comparing the SkyMaster Pro to the SkyMaster Pro ED version, so check that video out when it comes out hopefully soon. The diopter adjustment is on the right eyepiece and it feels really good. It's smooth, it's non-locking, but it's stiff enough that you can't accidentally move it. I really like the big central focus knob. It feels nice and smooth, there's no slop, there's no play, it's very precise. You can see the eyepieces move in and out as you focus, so there must be a couple of o-rings inside the eyepieces that keeps this binoculars airtight. And here's some test shots, take it for what it is, it's not really a one-to-one -one representation of what you can see with the binoculars with your own eyes. Since I'm using a camera, the camera lenses interacts with the binoculars own lenses and you get what you see. Hey, it's better than nothing. It does look good on camera. Generally, I would say the view is average. 
with a typical 50% on center. Looks very sharp and then gradually softening as you look towards the edge. I didn't notice any barrel distortion or pin cushion distortion of the field of view. If there is one thing I would complain about, it's the chromatic aberration. It's up front and in your face. It doesn't even try to hide its ugly head. I would describe it as prismatic, shimmering, almost rainbow-like in certain situations, like at night when you're looking at the moon. In daylight viewing, you see a yellow and a purple outline around high contrasting areas. You don't see it all the time, but when you do, you can't mistake it. This is where the SkyMaster Pro ED version has the advantage, which I'll talk about in that review of the binoculars. Hopefully I'll get that done soon. Here's an example of the chromatic aberration during the day. This house is about 230 yards away, and what I'm doing is I'm shifting the camera with respect to the binocular eyepieces, and this induces the chromatic aberration and you can see the purple fringing on the roof line and around the window borders you see the purple and on top of the windows you see a yellow outline the sky master pro is very unforgiving when it comes to chromatic aberrations if you don't align your eye exactly on center the purple and the yellow will show up and here's a test shot of the moon and you can clearly see the chromatic aberration very evident. The moon is probably the worst when it comes to chromatic aberration because of the high contrast. You can see the yellow fringing on the bottom of the moon and a purple fringing on the top. I don't know why my camera is flickering like that. I think it's the cold weather. It's about 40 degrees outside right now. Right there you can clearly see a rainbow-like prismatic effect around the edge of the moon and the binoculars are on a tripod so when I was viewing the moon with my eyes and moving around that prismatic color around the edge of the moon is also moving around it's not stationary like it is on the camera I believe this is now at 4x digital zoom Look at that yellow very pronounced So what do I think about the SkyMaster Pro? Well, I think it's okay. It's an okay binoculars. It's got a new facelift. The view is typical with the center reasonably sharp. The chromatic aberration is up front and takes some time of getting used to. I suppose that's typical for a high magnification binoculars in this price range. Even though it has that fancy purple XLT lens coating, it didn't seem to help with the chromatic aberration, so I'm guessing it's all about light transmission and contrast. The build quality looks good, at least on the outside. I like the removable eye cups, which gives you full use of the eye relief. The inside of the barrels is a different story. It's highly reflective, very shiny. I don't know what type of coatings they put on the inside of the barrels, but it looks sloppy to me. I almost forgot my binoculars is also reasonably collimated so that is a blessing and I only paid a hundred dollars for a used one. I'm definitely keeping mine and even at two hundred dollars it's still a good buy. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know and if you don't like it leave a comment down below. Also please consider subscribing to my channel for more future projects. Alright until next time see ya.